Set your goal high and don't stop till you get there. Have a blessed day to everyone. I am Emerson Manalili Gamboa from Bipad 2A. On this video, I am going to explain, discuss, and demonstrate the five following terminologies in the volleyball. So, let's start. So first, blocking error. Touching the net, crossing the center line, block a set or serve, or any other local violation that occurs while making a block attempt. So when the ball is hit out of bounds into the net, it's blocked by the opposing team. The playing hits the net or steps over the center line or contacts the ball illegally. These errors are monitored and kept track of in players and team statistics. When any blocking error is made, the team which made the error loses that point and the other team receives the serve. So, for example, when a player violates rule by touching the net or stepping over the center line that lies under the net. So, if the hitter makes any contact with the net, with their swing or any part of their body, they will be called a net violation and lose the point. Similarly, if they step over the center line, the blocker will have committed an attack error and will lose the point. Second, free ball. It is returning the ball to the opponent without the intent to get a kill, usually a slow, arching pass or roll shot rather than a spike. So the free ball in volleyball describes on how you can attack a ball over the net without jumping or using a spike approach in an attempt to score a point for your team. When you use the free ball as a hitter, you can actually attack the ball for a point while keeping your feet on the ground and not jumping to use your spike approach to attack the ball. So let me explain. For example, a free ball is a ball that team A has far and pass into team B's court. An easy free ball is sometimes considered a gift since the team didn't attack the, the hard drive and ball, a trip or a receptive of speed shot in for an open space on the opposing team's court. So when team A gives team B a free ball, it's usually because there's miscommunication between the players, whether, whether it's between passers and hitters or more likely between setters and hitters. When team B receives a free ball, they should do everything in their power to make a perfect pass in order to run a pass attack or get the ball to their goal to player who will definitely score a point. Since they didn't have to work hard, to get an easy ball from team A. So now, I can show you the demonstration of how to perform the free ball. Third, jump serve. The server uses an approach toss take up and serves the ball with a spiking motion while in the air. There are two main types of jump serve, the jump load and jump speed. The jump load serves normally required holding the ball until the last step into the jump. While the jump spin serve, you toss the ball even before your approach with the same speed, but a lot higher and more in front of you, giving you space to get your approach and jump into the ball. In the volleyball, the jump serve is a type of serve where the serving player increase power and serve high by jumping to hit the ball. The extra motion generated in a jump serve allows the server to put additional power on the ball and this can make the serve very difficult to handle for the receiving team. So now, I can show you the video demonstration of how to perform the jump serve. First of all, when attempting a jump serve, it is important to start several feet behind the end line. Once properly positioned, place the ball in left hand. Toss the ball high and several feet in front of you. Use an abbreviated attack approach. Swing both arms behind you and then forward. And up while stepping forward with the left foot and then a quick hop. Jump up and forward. Making sure to take off behind the end line. Contact the ball at the top of your reach and the top of your jump and strike the ball toward the top of the back with your palm and follow through with your arm sweep. 
aiming outward and downward to put top spin on the ball. Fourth, Libero. A player specialized in defensive skills. This player must wear his contracting jersey color from his or her teammates and cannot block or attack the ball when it is entirely above the net height. When the ball is not in play, the libero can replace any back post player without prior notice to the officials. Libero is a valuable player who plays a very important role in the court. Libero occupies a back row position on the court, and he or she is responsible for defense. It's fair to say that, that the job of a libero is all about receiving serves, digging hits, and making passes. So now, I can show you the video demonstration of how the libero performs. And lastly, fifth, of speed shots, an attack that is intentionally slow. The ball is spiked with less than maximum force but with speed, also called roll shots. So the off speed shot is a spike in which the hitter, at the moment of contacting the ball, decreases the acceleration of the arms and delivers an off speed shot or a roll shot. The off speed shot is also known as the roll shot in the volleyball sport. When carrying out this type of an attack hit, a volleyball player should aim to land the ball in the open area of the court. That's the reason why volleyball player also called up speed spike as a control spike. So now, I can show you the video demonstration of how to perform the up speed shot. So, that's all. Again, my name is Emerson Manalili Gamboa from Iped 2A.